well, I was going to say, I don't, I don't mean to sort of cut off, but uh, um, just to switch to a bit of a lighter note, me and Gabe were both definitely wondering what it was like, especially just because of the like conservationists and when you're like environmentalists and all that sort of stuff. David Attenborough is like one of the biggest, the biggest person in the field. We were just curious as to what it was like to actually be called up to be in one of his, like one of his uh, documentaries. <laughs> Well, um, I didn't know it was an Attenborough documentary when they called me up. (laughs) (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yeah, so they kept that pretty under the wraps for a while. Um, And I was so caught up in all of the bushfire stuff at the time that I really just thought, you know what, yes, okay, you can film me in the field, like that's fine, no worries. But I didn't give it all that much thought um, at the time. Um, that was on the first day back in the field, which um, most of that is what ended up in the documentary. Um, subsequent to that, we had a few more filming days. Um, but yeah, at the time, I had absolutely no idea what really it was going to be about. I, I knew who the producers were and I knew that they had worked on Attenborough um, films before that. Um, but yeah, I think the moment where I found out that it was an Attenborough film, it, I didn't believe it. I thought, I'm I'm not going to believe this until I see it <laughs> because surely I'm not in an Attenborough film. And then when I watched it, um, we had um, a pre-screening of it a few months ago. And when I first saw the segment with myself in it and hearing David Attenborough say my name, I just nearly passed out. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't actually take in what I was watching. I was like, wait, what? Is that is that me? <laughs> I had to go back and watch it the next day to actually remember what was even shown because it just was so surreal. It's like, no, that's not me. I'm not a TV person. What? <laughs> I just, yeah, I couldn't even imagine. I can't even say your name. Just, <laughs> that would be so cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, I tell you what, it's it's completely bizarre because it's not something I've chased. It's not something I, you know, really sought out. I really am not comfortable in front of the camera. Um, if you could see the amount of outtakes, it's, you know, phenomenal how bad I was really <laughs> to, to actually end up with this film. I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty special. And that shows that, you know, people do care about glossies or, or bushfires. So, yeah. 